know. Is it a kind of magic where you... Uh, if I told you, then you, it wouldn't be magic, would it? Uh, do do it. I need to ingest anything to <laughs> take part in this magical journey, or is it just... Uh, nope. Just, you just gotta oh, watch it's PG. Oh, it's PG. It is. Now, we're getting live with the pistol, so the timing has worked out wonderfully. Na'Vi against Expert Gaming, the Norwegian team. Can they do it here against this immense power? Let's see. And they're going to be pushing in onto the B bomb site. And so far, they're getting the frags they need. Those entries are coming. The damage is coming in Stig. Oh, my goodness. This oh, flank dearie. potential is going to be wondrous. Can he make it work? in there defending from Forest and things are going well here for the Norwegians. They're on the site, but the bomb is not down just yet. They might be able to Good pull on They could go around. towards bomb site A actually if they wanted to. Oh, this is what's going on. The, the CTs have no idea. Oh, oh, oh. they right went complete. Oh dear Lord. What, are, what is going on? C's got hit from behind as well. They really don't know what's going on here. Expert. It's a very nice rotation. They put themselves in the stronger position. The CTs had almost full control of the bomb site, but they were able to kind of slip through into kitchen towards bomb site A. The bomb is planted and now but I have to be very careful that they don't give away the bomb site too easily here. Stig, behind enemy lines, will be able to take down Starix. And Guardian is the last man standing. He does get a shot on Stig. But uh, I don't think it's very probable that he'll be able to win this one. He's got the P2000. It's 2 on 1. They have to actually peek at the same time. They can't make this ma mistake of making it a 1 on 1 situation. And uh, they made it. But Spitty actually took down Guardian. And uh, from a 3 on 1, Guardian almost. Yep. That round. Someone just spots me. You get you like calling comms. Three, two, one, peak. You know, someone's, yeah, someone's got to do that because together, it, it's really hard to, to time that. Just you, you need you, it needs you need to call it really um, mm -hmm. in that kind of spot. Because peaking from both sides with a pistol, you know, it's going to go well. But either way, we, I mean, that's going to be a good round for expert gaming. I love the little runaround situation. Again, good on the fly calling, good reactions. As you mentioned, yeah. But what is this? Oh, that this is CZ good. action is hot right now from Navi, and they're going to return with some kills here, but a lot of damage has been done. Oh, Zeus is going to get himself a gun in shadow. Not even any damage on Zeus. And they have pistol armor. What is happening? Jumping scout Guardian. shot there by Guardian. This was a very, very good call here by the Navi side, who went for a full bite on the second round. Got mm. armor, got the CZs, and uh, Expert Gaming, I don't think, really expected that. They tried to go in slowly into bombsite A, which is a huge mistake. They lost two men early on in the round. And that put them in a very poor situation. And uh, Guardian and the rest of the crew were just cleaning up with that jumping scout shot. So it's uh, one on one, and the T's are back to step one, or square one, with a uh, with an ether. They're trying to take on Guardian here on mid with the pistol. He's actually put down on uh, six HP, but Zeus pops out, gets himself a treble, and Edward's gonna clean up the clean up the Ukrainian clean up operation. There's. Uh, Relatively successful here on mid as Navi get an easy anti eco, putting them two rounds to one. It's a shame that Expert didn't get a bomb plant in that round. If they were able to get a bomb plant, they'd be able to go for a buy and they'd be able to destabilize the economy um, of, of Navi, even if they didn't win, but just by getting a lot of cracks. And that would have been have a, that would have had a lot of value. But now we're in a spot where Expert have to eco again, even though look how close uh, look how close it was not to eco. Yeah. And uh, so this is this kind of sucks for Expert Gaming. Ooh, nice little aggressive push there from Edward. They are all over the shop, aren't they? These Navi lot, they're just taking control of mid. And this is uh, unfortunate for Expert. But if there's one thing that we've learned from Expert, is don't count them out on Mirage. It's the T side, it's their weaker side. Yep. May gets himself two kills. It does a bit of damage, actually. Yakin's coming. Ooh. He actually gets a shot on Starex as well. A headshot as well. So that's not bad. Expert Gaming now, two rounds behind Navi. But they are able to buy some guns. And guns is what you need to win yourself some rounds. And uh, Expert Gaming, they have to be careful. They have to try something very different here. They were able to win the pistol round earlier on. And they have to keep the momentum going or they have to... Oh my goodness, there's a fast push here by the CTs into Palace. Is Yakin able to defend himself against that? Very nice by the CTs. And this is the thing with Na'Vi. They're actually playing a very, very dynamic CT setup. You mean you, you, I mean, you can have CTs all over the place. You have Guardian pushing short. He was at mid earlier. He, at window, sorry. That nice boost. little boost there to get the headshot. Very good job by Spitty. Zeus coming in from window. There's just he's, someone here. Well, he's going to be surprised. <laughs> he had his na oh, nade no. out at the wrong moment. It's two on four. Interesting play here. It's, it's really dynamic CS that we're seeing at the moment. Not really what you'd expect. Some weird kills here and there. Sees that shot. Knows that there is something going on nearby. He's being forced to defend himself. Getting that kill on Spidiac Connector. Seized. 
Now, pushing through, good flash, he's got 2 HP, will he get the kill? This would be pretty disastrous if he did, but Stig will get the better of him. Starix now with 5 HP, the last man standing, and the bomb hasn't been planted yet. Starix rushing through underground quickly to bombsite B. This is oh. actually a good choice here by Starix. I, I think Skippy might have heard him. That's the thing, like, if Skippy hadn't been in behind... He, oh, he, he didn't, didn't, they didn't, he didn't, he didn't. They Skippy didn't has no idea, his there is coming up from behind, he's going to be able to get Skippy. Weapon too. Oh, he's not going to kill him. What is he going to do? Oh, he turns oh, around. Nice. <laughs> he does get the kill though. Now it's him against Stiggy's on 5 HP. Stiggy, Stiggy, Stiggy. Will he be able to finish off the job for Expert Gaming and make it 3 on 2? Uh, 3 to 2, sorry. Well, he knows exactly where he is actually, Starix. Turns around, oh, man, but Stig. Good positioning by Stig. Perfect the, positioning. The, the crazy thing about Starix there is that, because of course, if, if, if the AWP didn't turn around, then what he was trying to do is like find the other frag first, because that, that's a secured frag. Exactly. If he, if he gets like a bit further towards the, the car and stays out of vision and kills the other guy with the silencer, there's no way the AWP is going to kill him. There's just yeah. no way. He's just always getting that frag. That's so unfortunate. That in my timing. opinion, you're right, but in my opinion, I think he should have made it nice and fast, because he had an M4 silenced, right? That's not going to give away his position on the radar. If he kills him, then rushes through and then just jumps into the bomb site, he could take him by surprise. But sadly, it is a loss for Navi. They do have a full buy, however. Seized uh, oh, the only person with uh, the FAMAS and no headgear. He's uh, seen better days. His wallet is relatively empty. And it looks like, again, it's a standard split hit by the expert side. Seeing if they can get a pick earlier on in the game. In one of the bomb sites, but Navi are doing a good job as they will be able to take down Yakin earlier on in this round. Skippy will also go down. Eddie here pushing down mid. He's one CT on short. And he does take him down. Edwards down now. Will Stig finish the job though? On Guardian, sadly not. There was a bit of a frantic spray down there by Stig and it's probably should have just tried to go for that tap. Zeus pushes in connector, he's on 5 HP. Oh goodness me, Zeus will be taken out by... But Guardian's gonna hop out, Seize is gonna hop out as well and now it's all up to base, he's only got 10 HP. And it looked like Expert might have been able to equalize the score at least for a while longer. But two terrorists died in quick unison. And base has a pretty tough job and he got caught in the frame as well there. That jump not working out for him. Navi, win and secure a fourth round for themselves, putting them two rounds ahead of Expert Gaming and perhaps forcing Expert Gaming on another eco. Yeah, not much for them to do at this point. They don't have to be too worried just yet though. They've, they're they still facing the early moments of the first half. Got, they know Guardian is, being, is rocking the AWP in mid. They're just gonna, I don't know, it, it may even serve them to, to just chill a little bit, but you know, talk to each other, and they are just gonna do a very Have delayed, a a delayed B push. This could work quite well because of the defense is set up. Um, they're not gonna have any. The DTs will have no information till contact is made here. And let's see, you get the position. There's Edward over there. Short, really good position for this. This uh, stop this rush and Edward just popping off heads left and right. And it's an easy defense, but that's okay. I mean, it was expected. Expert gaming, just rocking some pistols. Fully eco for them. Now they're going for the buy, and this is. Oh, uh, or are they? They're actually still pretty without money. They're gonna, are they going to go for an no, eco? No, they, 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 they can go for a buy, really, but they are going to go for an eco, actually. Um, they're they're going to wait mates. for better days because they haven't been able to plant the bomb lately. Ah. The one thing that we know about Expert Gaming that we've kind of noticed is that they're very good at playing from behind. Um, nade coming up. Yeah. He's the only one with nades on the side. We're going to see the nade yeah, go he's over. He's going to throw those support nades for the rest of his teammates who are pushing in from Palace, actually. Ah, okay. So it's the CT's got on a kind of the boxes there, the bomb boxes. He's rushed the farm. Wow. This is uh, relatively good pushes. They're able to take down Starks early on, but Zeus and Edward getting themselves two kills each will completely demolish this push here. It's very dry eco push. But as I was mentioning before, Expert Gaming do a very good job of coming back from uh, pretty poor scores, as we saw against Lemon Dogs. 14 to... Six was it? Yeah. Or fourteen to? It, yeah, was it was a lot. It was it was a huge I, difference. I say, so we I can't like, discount them. I like the smoke there because the way the smoke was placed, they've only got one. So they've actually pla they've actually practiced that before. They're just like, okay, we're in a situation where we can buy one smoke mm. and flashes. We just have to rush the bomber into the smoke. Yep. That's the only job. Just get the money for the plant. And that's mm. it. I like that. That's really nice by them. Well, they went for the save so they could get the off on Skippy, and uh, we'll see if Skippy will be able to get the uh, the uh, oh make the change that they uh, paid for. Starks will come behind enemy lines here, getting a kill on stake. That's not very good for the T side, as the CTs now know exactly which direction they'll be going. Starks will be coming up from behind. They have to have a CT there to uh, fight back, and Zeus will catch base off guard as he tried to throw that flash. 
is the T going to be ready for him? Starix actually Another doing an excellent flag. job, and Yakin had no idea. Now it's uh, off the skippy here on mid is being attacked from two sides at the same time. They lose the bomb, but he's able to take down Starix. It's actually a two on three, which is very interesting because for a moment it looked that like the uh, CT side were a lot stronger and that they got the first two picks and Starix was able to come up from behind. But however, I think Starix may be a bit too aggressive and uh, he should have stayed back down, perhaps shouldn't have gone for that peak. Now they're pushing into bomb site A, but a quick rotation here by Navi. Very good game sense by the Ukrainians, knowing that they're going to push their Guardian missing two shots, in fact. Zeus will pick up the pace, however, as he uh, takes down Skippy. It's all up to Spitty right now. It's three on one. He's got 100 HP. On the other hand, <gasps> the enemies do not, oh and he God. will get himself a quick double kill. Zeus and Guardian are both down. It's him against Seized. He's jumping all over the place, but Seized will get the better of him. Very nice job there to save the round for Navi and make it a seven on two. Good play by Skippy, however, Dude, who for a moment there... Starix, man, just, just slow pushing by himself. That's yeah. just, that just destroyed the round for them. It's just, it's, it's a uh, two flank kills. That but is still, they almost salvaged huge. it. Well, Sk Skippy almost salvaged it. As a, and if you look at it too, like it's, it's, it's such a small risk for them to do stuff like that. Look how much money they have. It's such a small risk, and the return is so high. Either he finds no one, gives them loads of information, and they get better positions, or he gets some frags. Yep. It's, it's a win-win win for them. That's true. That's true. And it's really the main thing, is I think, is information, and it kind of worked out as well for the kill. Interesting smoke there. That's going to defuse the uh, Molotov, but they pretty much figured out that they're probably not going to be pushing bombsite B right now. I mean, anyone with a sane mind wouldn't do that. Especially when they're out with flashes. Starix gets dinked. There's just quite a lot of HP. But now on 14, I think that was a Galil headshot coming in from T-Ramp. But, yeah, we got a bit of a hard sack there by Skippy Guardian getting the first kill of this round, taking down Spitty nice. Stig in a good position to take down that very aggressive Guardian. Two kills there for Stig. And this round looks like it might be going towards the... Norwegian side as they are two men ahead with control of the bomb site and the CTs are not in the best positions. We have one CT at CT spawn and the other at short. Starix playing nice and deep, same with Seized. They're waiting for Expert Gaming to make a mistake and that's a mistake Stig made, leaving bomb site, going to mid, trying to see if he can get any information but he was hiding behind that smoke and that smoke disappeared and Zeus was ready for him. Nice flash there by Zeus. Base will take down Starix. It's up to Zeus. Now he's the... Sorry, it's uh, Seized. He's calling him Zeus all the game. It's actually Seized. And uh, Seized is now going to try and uh, retake the bomb site coming in from CT spawn. Oh, it's no. two and one, and Skippy doesn't have a lot of HP. You have to be very careful. Nice flash there. That's going to get anyone who's hiding behind the box. So no, no. But he's going to be there for just a moment longer, but he will not be able to take down Base, who uh, finishes off the job for Expert Gaming, getting them the third round of the game, and the Norwegians are maybe back into it. Their economy isn't hurt so much. Skippy picks up that M4. Yep. But on the other hand, Navi have been uh, saving up a lot of money, and this is their last buy round. If they lose the next one, they're going to be forced onto an eco. And that's going to put Expert Gaming seven to five. Big, big push coming in here. Very, very fast, turning up the pace. And Expert, they're getting absolutely molded. And so far, Oh, it's just one good. frag for them, and only two players left. One is barely alive, and it's just pretty. And the thing, the thing about the, the previous round where they, ma they managed to create a success was that was the first round they were able to punish Navi taking liberties. Because Navi have been kind of strutting around the map, taking too much, too true. many liberties. That's They've true. been pushing too much. They've been too aggressive, generally speaking. And Expert Gaming have been playing a little bit too passively, and and just not they're not taking advantage of it. That was the first round where we saw that, and I, I don't know if it was deliberate, but. But that's definitely something they need to look for more because RP, they're getting cocky, I think. It is indeed, and you saw that put, that jump there by Guardian. He got yeah. punished pretty badly yeah. by Stig. The thing is, they have to be very careful. On the other hand, Expert can't be trying to go in for those dry, fast pushes into the bomb sites. It's not working. Navi's aim is far too on point, and you can see Seize there with an easy quad kill as he completely demolishes that eco. And it's not because it's an eco. It's because Seize is very good with his M4, and uh, all the Navi players are very good with their M4s, including Guardian himself. So they have to be careful. They can't go for these reckless, fast pushes into the bomb site. They have to take it easy. They have to wait for Navi to make a mistake. They have to get that early pick onto one of the players either at mid or either at bombsite A or bombsite B and they have to wait for that aggressive push that is going to come oh. sooner or later. Navi have Guardian to, pushing here. They're not used to seeing Guardian from the spot. This is the first time Guardian's done the short push. They're expecting that smoke was to stop him peeking mid 
and actually he's here on short. This could go really, really well for him. Even Edward pushing in to CPL to, to replace Guardian's usual orping from there. This is dangerous for them, and oh, he Ooh, missed the shot. That looked on. That looked on, but nevertheless, Edward picking up the pieces so far this round. Base to take one frag, but the thing is, is that the, there's two players lost. See if they can handle one player being lost, but now there's just three of them left. The bomb is down. They've got to think, okay, with what we've seen this round, what play do we make? But they, they don't have much to work with in this case, and they're all spread out. They're taking A, and oh, oh la la, how did goodness. he make that shot? I have no idea. That was through the wall as well. Goodness me. It looked like he pretty much got away from that orb shot, but Guardian, wow. He must have done it on purpose. He dragged it through and got him through the wall. I mean, it was really nice. That was very nice. That could have been a different story indeed if Yakin was able to get away with that. But Stig is now the last man standing. He's going towards bombsite B. He's relatively undefended. He has to be careful as he has one CT coming in from short. I don't think he knows, perhaps, stepping every angle, but doesn't check that one. The only one where Seized mm. is standing. It's a good position from Seized, actually, if we, if we go back there. Let's just quickly check out that position from Seized, because that's quite nice. We zoom through the, the black pots. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. There we go. We, we, we found it. So, it, where he was? Right, was it here? No, was it here? It was, it was here. there, yeah. Was here, yeah. Was that's quite a nice position. It's I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those spots where you feel like you've checked it <laughs> yeah. before you've really seen the spot. It's, it's, it's a nice one. Again, the dry push into the bomb site. It's not going to work against Navi, who are uh, just on point with their, with their shots. And I think they're just giving them fuel for some frag videos. Those are frag movies where uh, you get like Zeus just having an ace. Old school frag. And this one yeah. thing I've noticed, you don't see a lot of those old school frag movies where you get like those eco pushes. I think it was more the of the meta. pistols are good now. <laughs> yeah, pistols are good now, number one. <laughs> it's true. And number two, uh, you don't get these eco rushes anymore. Or Skippy going for a fast peek with the AWP on mid. He's not, not going to get lucky here. They, they're looking to take some mid control perhaps. Actually falling back there after that little peek. And they didn't see him, so they don't know exactly where Expert Gaming are at the moment. And the bomb is there in T-Spawn. And Starx again, again, aggressive push on B-House, from uh, A-House, sorry, from Starx, and he gets the frag every time. He's been so good there. Oh, very nice little boost there and a jump into window as the terrorists get control of window. There are smokes all over the place. Guardian sees him run by, and I think he saw Guardian as well. Will Guardian be able to get that pick? This is a very, very acute angle. Oh, he takes down Spitty. Very nice there by Guardian. And he's going to push through. Missed the shot on Stig. Will he get the second? I have no idea. He's behind them, and that's uh, some nice play by Guardian because he completely shut down that push. That could have been very dangerous by Expert if they had been unchecked going in from window and connector, but Guardian gets himself the double, and that's 12-3 to for Navi. Expert Gaming starting off the second half a bit worse for wear than when they were against Lemon Dogs, and now they have to, get, they have to string 12 rounds without Navi stringing four. Seems relatively unlikely. The, the, only thing for them, sorry? The, the only thing for them really is that um, they're not facing Delpan's orb. Guardian's not been as on form as, as yeah. Delpan was in the previous match. That's really the only only nice thing for them. Cause but Delpan everyone else a, is on form. Because Delpan was a, quite a big factor. But yeah, it does seem like their rifling overall is quite strong. And we're moving into the pistol round. We're seeing the standard strats from pistol again. Standard meta, 3-1-1 one, one, set up. Yakin in the very defensive spot. They, they, get, they, they get how this works. And let's see now how this actually goes because before expert have been just winning jewels they've been on top of the pistol pistol fights and are they gonna be able to, able to do it here because it will be an a push and here it's gonna come in and they're gonna have a late a late man for navi coming through connector to get the flank because they are playing against this matter they know that people will be rotating in through connector so he's gonna come out right behind them so expert got to be really on top of this and look at that starks is gonna make the kill from the flank and now Oh, is he going to get... Oh, no. They're doing so well. It's a 3-on-3, three three, though. And Navi oh, oh, just no, decimate no. Ed with a 1-2 with a right at the end. And that's going to finish it off. Navi to win the pistol. And Expert Gaming have got to be drenched right now. They're going to be perspiring like crazy. Yeah, they must be really scared at the moment. The thing is, right, you know, you always have to keep that long-range advantage with the CT side. You can't let the Glock... And we've seen that so many times, even when in, in the last game, if the T's get close to whoever's holding at CT spawn, they completely demolish them. The Gronk is just so much better. But, and now we've got an interesting position here by uh, Yakin with the shotgun. It looks like we have, we might have a push into bombsite A, both from Connector and from Palace and T Ramp. Or is it gonna be something else? You can see they're playing a far, far too made. static, far too static. Here. Uh, terrorists are very, very confident. They're playing very aggressive uh, T play. They're moving in at the same time. I mean, it is an anti-eco, but last time we saw an anti-eco, it failed miserably. 
Um, that was expert gaming just before, but Stig with two no kills. Will he get the third? No, the bomb is down. No bullets. Oh, no yeah, bullets. Yeah, he's got no bullets left on his CZ. Yeah. There's only much you can do with that overpowered pistol. <laughs> it's, so, thankfully, it's limited. It's got 24 bullets. It doesn't have uh, any more than that. It's going to be a different story. But he didn't have a lot of HP left anyway, and he, they knew yeah. exactly where he was. There's uh, not much he could do. This, this was kind of the, the game I was expecting from Ivy because they're just so much more, they were so much more structured, and uh, they're much better on, on, on helping each other. And their, their, their rifle plays together much are just much stronger. They're, they're, yeah. they're, you can see the experience coming in from Navi, and it's really paying off in dividends right now as Expert Gaming kind of struggling to hold on. I mean, they had a bad T half, so we're not going to see their ex their really expert CT half. Mm -hmm. That's really where they shine. But and that's the thing it's top teams. You've got to be as balanced as possible on both sides. You can't just be good on one side. And, and uh, that's really where Expert Gaming are going to have to go back and be like, how can we improve on our on our terrorist side? Yeah, yeah, they, that's something they have to improve is this one, Mirage. Their terrorist side is really lackluster. And they won't have a chance to play a really good CT half. They haven't been given the chance since they've lost the pistol round. They've, they've lost the subsequent eco round. Now they have to gonna have to, they're going to have to go for a false bite. It is match point for Navi. It could be a complete destruction of expert gaming right here by the Ukrainian side who are looking a lot stronger than Lemon Dogs against the Norwegians. And it might be the last Norwegian hope being removed from the tournament. It's going to be a very, very uh, sad day for, for the whole of Norway as we get Expert Gaming not qualifying through Group D. On the other hand, Navi rekindling hopes to uh, continue in this tournament and uh, giving them uh, another chance to play against the loser of the Flipside versus Lemon Dog match. Expert here finally going for a full buy or a, a full buy as they possibly can at the moment against five AK-47s by Navi. Interesting little play here as the terrorists getting control of mid. It's pushing Sean at the same time. And the CTs are doing a good job staying nice and deep. And it's Guardian versus Spinny here in the room. Spinny will get the better of Guardian. Guardian perhaps being a bit too aggressive, not waiting for the support of his teammates. Seize will actually get the better of base. Nice job there by, Yak by Skippy actually takes down Seize. And Yakin will be holding his position hard. The terrorists are getting demolished here in bombsite A and Expert Gaming are uh, doing a job that round, making it a bit harder, making it uh, take longer for Navi to win. And we've just found out that Lemon Dogs beat Flipside 16 to 1. That what sounds, is that going more, on here on Group D? More like it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, no, I don't know. I what is no, going no on? Explanation for that. The, but you, okay, Navi destroying Expert at the moment. Navi losing to Flipside. Flipside getting destroyed by Lemon Dog, who barely beat Expert. It doesn't make sense. It really, I don't know. What what sense can we make of it? But right now we're seeing the Expert CT side that we are used to watching against Lemon Dogs, and it could be a comeback. I mean, they have a lot of rounds to win. They need to win 11 in a row. They look solid. A split coming up from House and Slope. And good position for base. Smoke carpeting everything. Oh, oh, that's really nice there. Very good start. And that flank worked out wonderfully. They're down to three men there, really low. Even with some trades, even with a three on three situation, it's three on three. There's that everyone is right there. They, they realize that the spot's very awkward. The smokes were dissipating, so they fell back. So another smoke coming in. They might retry this, actually, with a split on connector. That's actually really smart. But Stigwell, he's actually so smart as well. How did he know? How did he know to just rush to that spot? Very, very good stuff. They still think that it could be a possible B, but but the idea, of course, was another A split. They have a smoke to see this one. Oh, and Seize is going to get a frag. So it's looking good now for Na'Vi, but their health is low. Indeed, so this is a two-on-two -two situation with Starrix and Seize trying to retake the control of Onside, but a double kill there by Stig will uh, let them survive another round. 15 to 5, and the score gets less embarrassing as we go on. Navi are probably scratching their heads. Thought that, well, that's going to end really quickly. We could go home, have some dinner before we go to bed. Ready for tomorrow's quarterfinals. But Expert are actually going to keep them up a little while longer. As we have a full eco here by the Ukrainian side. Skippy with an early kill there on mid. It's very standard play here by the CTs. They just have to make sure they don't make any huge mistakes. They don't give anyway any guns to the uh, T side. They do have CZs. The CZs can be really, really brutal as we... Uh, experienced earlier on with the first anti-eco in the first half 
But actually, at the moment, it, it just looks like Expert Gaming's aim has just become really, really on point. It really is on point. Once they pick up those M4s, they're just really, really good. Especially Yakin and Base, actually. Just getting those shots like it's no man's business. But 15 to 6. Navi now for, with a full buy. Can Expert Gaming survive another round? Yeah, they, 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 have no, they can't lose a round. They just, they, the game's over then. It, the game is just over. And again, seeing the nice little pop flash there that I'm sure many people are going to start copying because it is a nice one to get yourself in position there. But Na'Vi, they know that they can they can play around with their lead a lot. So they just want to just... I mean, and the thing is as well, as well that they can lose so many rounds in a row being risky because eventually the, the money loss bonus, the consecutive round loss bonus, will kick in very nicely for them. And they'll be able to buy, buy, and buy, and buy. And they just have to win that one round, so this is really dangerous. And they're going to go for the execution here on this eight bomb site. Can oh! Oh, the loud base will get the kill on Edward. He missed the first terrorist who pushed through. But uh, that spray and spray, or spray and pray, sorry, will actually work out for him. As God, he gets a double kill. Both on Yakin on Skippy. How did that happen? We don't know. It's three on two. Here as Guardian and Starix have control of the bomb site. Will Starix get the kill overall at short? Mm, no, he doesn't. Stig has got 28 HP. Starix pushing in CT spawn. Very confident play here by the Ukrainians as they take down Spitty. They have nothing to lose here. They've got so many rounds as a barrier. And now it's Stig and base against Guardian. Will Guardian end the dreams? No, he won't. Base with a double kill here. Taking down both Starix and Guardian will win the round for Expert Gaming, making it 15 to 7. And another round for the Norwegians. Is this the dream comeback? Is Expert Gaming the comeback team of the century? Or uh, are they are they going to lose sooner or later? Well, it's 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 okay for them because they are always going to be, be having the nades. As long as they don't sustain too many losses. They, 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 this round, they can't afford to lose more than really two people because they can't really afford to do more than two drops the next round. Um, that's, that's really the case for them. They need to keep that economy in a good spot so they always can afford nades because nades are just so important for the defensive side. Skippy does open up well with a frag onto Guardian there, but with a couple of men on the underground, Skippy's got to be on point and expecting a play like that. Is you get some sick angles from the underground onto the guy on mid, so let's see what they're up to here. They are actually even going to boost into that spot, so Skippy, let's have a look at him. He might be in some danger here. I don't know if he even realizes that there's some men boosting into his spot on the CPR. He's over in jungle right now, but things could get hairy. Moment, uh, momentarily here. Yep. It's looking, uh, the forecast is looking relatively well. On the Norwegian side, uh, the bomb is down at two spawn. Edward actually getting yes. a kill on Skippy, but he gives away his position. They know there's a terrorist there uh, mid. They know there's a terrorist in connector. And it looks like the bomb will be going towards bomb site A here. And Starix will be going towards T ramp with the bomb in his backpack. Spitty. Firing all the way from short. Trying to see if he can get anybody here on connect. Doesn't get damage, but not enough. Sees will he's crossed in the right position against base. It's now three on two. Yakin, Stig, and Spitty have to be very careful. They have to push at the same time or not push at all. Maybe far too many men, but Stig will rise to the occasion and take down Stig. Uh, take down Starix. Sorry, both beginning with an ST. Very confusing. Yes, and jumping on top of the box. We'll see over the smoke and get the kill. 15 to 8. Navi. They have to win sooner or later. So, lost quite a lot of men there. Just it's it's still okay though. But again, you know, they got to keep that money up. Yeah, Spitty. Keep money up. Spitty's gonna have to get a gun from Yakin. And so that was that was a pretty nice round. I was quite scared for them because the execution coming out from Steve's was pretty strong, and they weren't taking the fight as a team super well. Oh, nice little peek there from from base. But they just have to deal with an eco here. And this is one of those spots where again they can reinforce that economy, and they won't get a lot of these spots in the future because again. That consecutive money loss bonus is going to come into play, and Navi are going to be doing buy upon buy upon buy, and that's where the economy, if too many losses are sustained for for expert gaming, it gets really bad. And they need to always be having full nades. I can't stress it enough. And they need to be having the setup that they play best with. Some teams they practice a lot with, you know, multiple snipers, more expensive setups. Some teams are very comfortable with their setups on just rifles, and it, it really depends on the team. And expert gaming have been shown be good because it's. Uh, much, much less fragile than the more expensive setups in an economic yep. standpoint. So now they're 15 to 9 against Navi, and we're going to get this buy coming in. Navi, uh, Navi they can we haven't really seen a crazy aggressive round from them on one of these buys yet, and I, I really think that it's going to be coming at some point soon. Let's see what they get up to. Here. 
Oh, Skippy on point. Oh my god, popping off Starks' head. Oh, yes, he looked up. Oh, and nice again. Back. Shot on Edward, not bad it's by Skippy. Beheading. <laughs> Brutal. A lot of damage. How much is it? 400 and something. Over there. <laughs> Which one of his wives was it? I don't even know. But right now we're getting a four versus three. And they are making their way. They, 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 they killed the player on Connect, and we've seen that that's been pretty problematic for expert in the past so let's see how they react they've got a very defensive line oh my oh, goodness wow. guardian is far too trigger happy as he takes down zeus what is that what is he doing guardian guardian friendly if a man fire. is wearing a brown shirt he is with you if he is not wearing a brown shirt he is against you <laughs> that's a good rule to follow and but now he puts it on a two on four situation it might have been a different story but guardian perhaps making trying to make things a bit more fair uh, Let's watch him, see if he can make up for his past transgressions here. Well, it's a 1-3 and, and Guardian is capable of doing the damage. He just can't get the bomb. It's actually a pretty big deal as well if he dies and loses his orb because, you know, making those shots, like getting the, the loss of money there. Oh! First kill on Skeppy. He's got two more moles to shoot. Moles to hit. Fake bomb plant. They know it's a fake bomb plant. Looks around. Sees if he's going to get pushed. 14 seconds on the clock. He's going to have to plant it sooner or later. Puts it in the only position where they can't really peek him from. And the bomb gets planted. Now he's going to play whack-a-mole. Very well played. He's going to come from behind. Very oh well God. timed and well played. As they load him with the uh, juicy spitty. So good. So many so many teams or players would have actually peeked earlier in that situation. But they had they had this they had this setup. Like one guy here. I think it was a 50-50 situation. And one guy here. So but he could, he could have been looking at the other angle. If, if they both peek at the same time they should always get the trade. But should, unless yeah. it's like a really weird angle, then they should always get the trade. So th I really like that. That was very well played, very smart stuff in the, in the uh, defense mm -hmm. retake there. And that's why two on one is, should be so, so good if it's played, you know, perfectly. And in it should right usually way. be played perfectly. <laughs> and not against an amazing player. Who can be... So 15 to 10, we're seeing the expert gaming magic again. This is some crazy comeback here by the Norwegians again. They are magical. They love it. They, they love to create exciting CS for you guys. They love the viewers. That's why they, uh, they lose the first 15 rounds and, and then they, they just go for that comeback from 15, to th from 15 to 3 to 15 to 10. Seven rounds in a row. Easy peasy, 11 squeezy here for the Norwegians. We're holding the same positions as usual. Actually, base backing away a bit from Connector, giving them control of Connector. He's realizing that it's not really working out for him. Skippy missing that terrorist who pushes through shot, but he does give the information for the rest of his teammates so they don't get attacked from behind. We have two men here and bomb slight beat. Stick has been playing admirably through this tournament. He has uh, really ro risen to the occasion. Will he be able to continue with the survival? Here it comes. It's got to be coming soon here. The split is coming. It's coming. They know that it has to be coming soon. They spotted enough players. They figured it out. But they're still holding the lines. They aren't rotating quick enough. They've got to rotate. And Stig goes down without any response. Spit is oh, picking up the pieces. But just spitty. two. He needed to get more. It's a three on three here. Well, Spitty made them pay for that push there. Double kill, could have made it three, would have hurt even more, but now the CT side have to retake this bomb site. Are the dreams of Expert Gaming continuing on in this tournament going to be demolished by the Ukrainians in this round, or are, are they going to do something quite intelligent and push into the bomb site at the same time? Now it's all up to Guardian to win their dreams. Wallbang is going to destroy him, and it's going to give Expert Gaming the 11th round. Very, very close there. Could have definitely gone Navi's way. Very good by City there to get that, that double. That really, really helped them out. And and also, they were very quick to get... I, th I mean, actually, in that spot, they, they didn't wait for base to come from short. They actually pushed in pushed into the site before he actually came. Because usually you want to get everyone pushing together. The but they just, they just actually went for it. And I actually liked that. I, I liked that they were on top of them before they could get position. And I think that was probably the, think the thinking from them. We don't want to give them time to get in position. Exactly. So that, that seg allows it a situation where we can predict where they will be much better because yeah. they haven't been able to move much yet. So exactly. 15 to 11, the expert gaming, the Norwegian wonder team pulling a marvelous result here in the second half. Still, <laughs> I mean, they're playing for overtime. You just, you just have to give it to them. These guys give such an amazing if performance, so admirable for them to stick yeah, in of course, of a course. game like this. But if they kick out Navi, that would be one of the biggest upsets really in this tournament so far. Navi being kicked out by a BYOC qualifier. Here, Navi might be making a mistake pushing into bombsite A, which is defended by three of the CTs, and Yakin is there as well. 
The uh, master of bombsite A has done a very good job, but will be taken out by Edward. This is a good start here by Navi, who pretty much almost have control of the bombsite. They smoke out the vast majority of the CT players. Stig is still in bombsite B, thinking that the terrorists are going to come. Oh my god! I don't know what that? he's doing. All of the T's are in bombsite A, and it what doesn't happens? look very probable that the CT side are going to come back from this. They're going to hide. They're not going to do any peeks. Skippy here giving away his position. Stig, it's one on three, and there you go. Expert gaming out. Na'Vi through to the...